Chapter 112 Familiar Love Huo Yuao was still young, however, and as time passed he became more and more normal under his companion's influence. However, he still felt very lonely. After all, companions and friends weren't family. He had no more relatives left in this world. He cultivated tirelessly to avoid the loneliness and dead silence in his dreams at night. At this point, tears fell from his eyes because of what Ma Shanhao had said. I will take revenge on whoever dares to bully you by roasting him into a sapling pig. Elder sister, if only he had an elder sister, she could openly ask him for help to suppress the evil fire, protect him and take care of him. The phrase elder sister was a very unfamiliar term to him. Why are you crying? Ma Xiaohao was stunned as she saw Huo Yuao crying. Huo Yuao leapt up from the sofa towards her and gave her a tight hug. He wailed as he hugged her. He was bawling hysterically to vent his emotions. He didn't even realize that he had buried his head in Ma Xiaohao's chest as he wept. Ma Xiaohao was in a daze. A wave of distress surged within her heart after that. Although she was unsure why Huo Yuao was crying so pitifully, she could clearly sense the change in his emotions. He developed a reliance on her as he bawled. All females possess maternal instincts. It was just a matter of how strong they were. Ma Xiaohao might seem very sturdy in front of others, but she was actually very delicate. Those who usually seem tough were actually the ones who were the most vulnerable internally. Huo Yuao's wailing sparked a kind maternal instincts that resided within her. She patted his back lightly and did not mutter any words of comfort. She felt that letting him cry his heart out like this was the best for him. Huo Yuao was crying very sadly. The venting of his emotions caused his tears to fall uncontrollably. He recalled his predicament when he was at the Duke's mansion at a very young age. He was afraid of winter. Every winter, he would shiver in the cold with his mother at night. In the day, he still had to help his mother perform chores outside. His mother's hands were already frozen, but she did laundry for the higher-class servants in the Duke's mansion in exchange for some low-quality grease for him to rub on his hands so that he wouldn't freeze up. The look in his mother's eyes was so kind and amiable, but it also carried a tint of sorrow that could never be wiped away. He deeply recalled that his mother was crying very sorrowfully once. That's because he asked her, Mom, when can we ever be full? Mom, when can we ever be full? Who are you out talked in his sleep? This simple sentence caused my shadow's body to tremble. She teared up as she thought of how much bitterness who are you had experienced when he was young. Mom, mom. Huo Yuao muttered under his breath as he wailed. His tears had already drenched Ma Shadao's shirt. However, he was unaware, and gradually fell into a deep sleep in Ma Shadao's arms. He cried for 15 minutes until he fell asleep without drying his tears. Ma Shadao hugged him lightly. Perhaps he missed the feeling of being in his mother's arms when he was young. But Huo Yuao placed one of his hands on Ma Shadao's chest very naturally. But Ma Shadao was not angry with him for doing so. She only felt that he was very pitiful. Everyone would miss their mother. But from the way he cried, how could it be that he only simply missed his mother? Ma Shadao could sense the sorrow that was deeply ingrained in his bones. She also heard some of his childhood stories when he talked in his sleep. She did not place Huo Yuao on the bed directly. Ma Shadao hugged him as she leaned on the bedside. She allowed him to snuggle in her arms and continued to pat his back softly. It was early still in the morning when their match had ended. But right now, the Grand Imperial Star Hotel lit up with bright lights as night approached. Huo Yuao slept very soundly and sweetly. In his dream, his mother had come back to life. He felt his mother's warmth as he laid in her arms. Little Yuao had never felt so peaceful before. Mom, mom. He murmured continuously as he sat close to his mother in her arms. There were no more tears, but warmth and longing affection. By wailing bitterly, he had unleashed the sorrow and hatred that he had suppressed for so long. The warm hug left him completely relaxed. Maybe the knot in his heart had not been completely untied, but at least it was no longer a dead knot anymore. A man's growth would never be far away from a woman. A mother, sister, girlfriend, wife or daughter could not be missing from a man's life. In Ma Shadow's sister like or mother-like arms, who are Yuan's body and mind were both maturing subconsciously. When the first ray of sunlight passed through the window to the bedside at dawn, it landed on Huo Yuan's face. The golden ray caused the sleeping youth to slowly wake up. His entire body was warm, and he was feeling extremely comfortable. His soul power coursed freely in his body, and his heart felt an indescribable carefreeness. It was as if all his accumulated negative emotions had been vented. So comfortable. So comfortable. He turned his head around unwillingly to avoid the beaming sunlight, but the abnormally soft pillow caused Huo Yuao's consciousness to become a little clearer. As he moved his finger, an elastic force was exerted on his fingertip. Huo Yuao was truly awake now. He opened his eyes and saw a lazy but serious looking face watching him weirdly, whereas his hands were placed on the upper chest of this person, and he was even grabbing this person's chest. Sister Shao Dao, this. This is a misunderstanding. Huo Yuao relaxed his grip quickly and crawled up awkwardly. His face blushed. What did you call me? Ma Shao straightened her face. Did I hug you one night for you to call me this? Huo Yuao only regained his awareness now. He lowered his head as he said, Ella sister. Ma Shao sat up straight and stretched her arms and aching body before rubbing Huo Yuao's head and saying, Go back to your room and wash up. Ma Shao's indulgent action relieved the embarrassment and nervousness that Huo Yuao felt. He lifted his head to look at her, Ella sister. Ma Shao smiled and replied satisfactorily, Oh, that's better. As she said that, she dragged Huo Yuao down from the bed and tidied up his shirt. Go wash up and eat something. It's not early anymore. We still have to compete later. All right. Huo Yuao replied. Although his face was still blushing, his eyes were filled with affability as he looked at Ma Shao. He walked towards the door to her room as he spoke. When he was about to open the door, Ma Shao said suddenly, Yuao, I would like to hear your story when you are willing to tell me. Huo Yuao turned and smiled brightly at Ma Shao. I will. Ma Shao sensed the intimacy she had with Huo Yuao as their gazes met. Huo Yuao breathed out heavily after he closed the door behind him. He felt extremely energized, which was something he had never felt before. Even the soul power in his body had been enhanced. He almost screamed because of the carefreeness he felt. He wanted to announce to the world that he had an elder sister. After returning to his room and opening his room door, Huo Yuao saw Wang Dong sprawled on his bed in an unglamorous sleeping posture. A greater sense of warmth filled Huo Yuao's eyes as he saw Wang Dong. Without a doubt, Wang Dong must have been waiting for him to return. The both of them were just exhausted yesterday, and sufficient rest was enough for them to recover. As he tiptoed to the bedside, Huo Yuao lifted his hand and slapped Wang Dong's butt. Time to wake up. I owe. Wang Dong whined in pain and jumped up. For some reason, Huo Yuao compared this slap he gave to Wang Dong to the hug he had given Ma Shao last night. Wang Dong's butt was much smaller, but was equally perky. His butt was very springy even though he was wearing pants. No, he was wearing pants. Wang Dong was dazed for a while after seeing that it was Huo Yuao. He then scanned him for a few moments. Following that, he seemed elated. You weren't wearing this yesterday. Huo Yuao replied very naturally. Yes, I helped my elder sister suppress her evil fire yesterday. My shirt was burnt, and many parts of it were torn. Elder sister. Wang Dong's tone of voice became higher. Huo Yuao nodded seriously and said, Elder sister said that she's unwilling to accept favors from anyone. If I'm willing to become her kin, she will love and protect me in the future. Wang Dong, do you know that I'm very happy? Ever since mom passed away, I became an orphan. I finally have kin now. Wang Dong felt heartbroken as he looked at the flashing radiance in Huo Yuao's eyes. He said almost instinctively, You still have me. When he sensed the weird expression in Huo Yuao's eyes, he supplemented his words hurriedly, We are brothers. Don't tell me that you don't treat me as your brother. Huo Yuao chuckled, It's different. What's the difference? Wang Dong asked stubbornly, Huo Yuao replied, She gives me the feeling my mother did.
Who are you? I suddenly felt petrified. The Imperial Profound Academy had one sole emperor and six sole kings. Without considering strategies, their abilities were above the Star Lua National Academies. After recalling how Princess Juju used a few powerful soul tools to turn the tide against his side, Who are you? I felt his head getting heavier. Wang Dong nodded and said, I heard that they used less time than us in the team round. From the start to the end, the Imperial Profound Academy was completely suppressed and had no chance. I also heard that the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy's team leader has been promoted to a class six soul engineer. He's very powerful. You out. I had an idea after I woke up yesterday. Wang Dong started to become excited. What idea? Who are you? I asked curiously. Wang Gong said in a low voice, Do you think that we are considered one person or two people when we unleash our martial soul fusion skill? Who are you? I shook his head at a loss and replied, It's not easy to tell. Even if it's only one person, the difference from an ordinary soul master is still very great. Wang Gong blinked his large, beautiful eyes and said, If Senior Shu can use the mysterious underworld displacement to shift us into the middle of our opponents, we can use. The two of them had great chemistry. Who are you? I understood Wang Gong immediately. Are you saying? I understand now. But is this really possible? Wang Dong said, We won't know if we don't try. Let's ask Senior Shu later. All right. Who are you? I replied immediately. After they washed up and had their breakfast, they went to find Shu Sanchi and relayed their idea to him. After listening seriously to their description, Shu Sanchi shook his head and said, I fear that it'll be very difficult. I might succeed if I can remain in the awakened form of the Swanwu Turtle. The thing is that my mysterious underworld displacement can't just shift anyone. The prerequisite is that the person I'm trying to shift doesn't possess any defense type soul skills that cover a wide area, which will prevent any displacement. It's just like how I failed when Princess Juju used the Star Ground soul skill. When a soul master uses his soul skill, my soul power will be depleted twice as fast if I want to displace him. The stronger the soul skill, the faster the depletion of energy. This continues until the soul skill can't be used anymore. Let's not even consider the question of whether you're one or two people when the both of you use your martial soul fusion skill, purely based on the fact that your martial soul fusion skill is immensely strong. I may not be able to displace the both of you successfully. I may succeed if I am in the awakened form, which will make me close to the rank of a soul king and supplemented by the mysterious underworld force. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.